I used to, I used to run a CRM consulting business, and yeah. and it was it was it was the uh, two sided coin because as you say, cl clients would say, "Dom, you don't understand. Our industry is unique, and yeah. in our industry, we are a unique company." And yeah. we go, "Oh, oh, of course." <laughs> And yeah. and then it's then we'd say well because that thing you want to do that's unique and world class that only you do, we'd say oh I think that's going to take about six months of development and then we get in the car park and somebody said didn't we do that last week for somebody and we're like yeah yeah, that's what we do. yeah. so the interesting thing is like yeah no why don't you implement it the way we built it no we you're right we're unique we've got specific workflows you know we're geographically spread oh because no other country company ever has been. <laughs> um, and uh, we, you know, what we need you to do is modify the software to do it our way. Okay, great. Um, but what if your processes suck, right? And uh, like CRM is a classic example. Yeah. Companies go, we people, need you to... Now you're telling people their children are ugly. Your processes no, well, suck. You know, we need to implement a new <laughs> CRM. Why? Because, you know, our, our, we need to improve our level of customer care. What if your people are just useless? You know, what if it's not a CRM that's the problem? The CRM is not going to fix that. So, you know, here's the thing, though. You have to be masterful enough to have those conversations with people in here. What if, you're, what if, you, what if your team is useless? What if your processes suck safely? The sage has this ability to have these conversations with people. It's probably worth me drawing a model about the sage in a minute, but the sage has this ability have conversations with people that are so powerful and so confronting and so paradigm collapsing, but in a way that makes them feel so safe and grateful that you had that conversation with them, that they're willing to step into chaos because they believe that you could carry them into chaos. This is one of the most important things about, the leader, about leadership. People's willingness to step into chaos is directly proportional to their sense of the leadership's courage. People's willingness to step into chaos is directly proportional to how courageous they believe their leader is. And when they believe they have a courageous leader who can make me safe, I'm going to step into that chaos with you. 